The process begins with the delivery of raw materials required for manufacturing. Sawing involves cutting the raw materials, metal bars, into specific lengths. This step ensures the material is appropriately sized for subsequent forging processes, enhancing efficiency and precision. Heating involves raising the temperature of the metal to make it malleable for forging. This step softens the material, reducing resistance and allowing easier shaping without causing cracks or fractures. Upsetting is a forging process where the length of the metal is shortened while increasing its cross-sectional area. This is achieved by applying compressive force to the heated metal, typically at its ends or a localized section. The goal is to concentrate material in a specific area to create features like flanges, heads, or thickened sections, which are essential for strength or connection points in the final product. Setting down is a forging technique used to reduce the thickness of a specific section of the metal while maintaining or lengthening its overall dimensions. It involves hammering or pressing the heated metal, typically at its edges or a designated area, to create a more precise shape. This method is commonly used to form transitions or steps in the material, refining the workpiece and preparing it for further detailed forging or shaping processes. Solid forging is the process of shaping heated metal into a desired form through the application of compressive force without melting the material. In this stage, the metal remains in its solid state while being hammered, pressed, or rolled into the rough shape of the final product. Solid forging increases the strength and durability of the metal by refining its grain structure, making it ideal for creating strong, high-performance components such as gears, bolts, or shafts. Cogging is an intermediate forging process used to reduce the cross-sectional area of a metal workpiece while increasing its length. This is achieved by repeatedly hammering or pressing the heated metal between flat or shaped dies, typically in multiple passes. Cogging is often used to break down large ingots or billets into more manageable sizes, preparing the material for further forging or machining. The process refines the grain structure of the metal, improving its mechanical properties and ensuring uniformity. Scarfing is a process used to clean or prepare the surface of a metal workpiece by removing defects such as oxides, scales, or imperfections. Typically done using a cutting torch or grinding tool, scarfing ensures a smooth, defect-free surface for subsequent operations. Adding coal reduces friction and prevents sticking during forging. Turning around repositions the metal for even and accurate shaping. Hollow forging involves shaping heated metal to create hollow components or features, tubes or rings. This is achieved by using specialized tools or dies to either punch a hole through the metal or expand it into a hollow shape. The process can be performed using various techniques, including extrusion or open die forging. A straw boss oversees and manages specific tasks on the shop floor, ensuring proper execution of work, coordinating between workers, and addressing issues to maintain smooth production flow. Tap forging involves light, precise hammering or tapping to refine details or create threads on a metal piece. It enhances surface finish and ensures accurate dimensions for final assembly or use. Straightening corrects distortions to ensure proper alignment and shape. Cutting involves removing excess material from the forged piece to achieve the final dimensions and shape.
This step can be done using various tools, such as saws, shears, or automated cutting machines. Accurate cutting is crucial for achieving the required specifications and ensuring the workpiece fits properly in its intended application. This process finalizes the shape, removes imperfections, and prepares the component for subsequent finishing or assembly. Normalizing is a heat treatment process used to refine the grain structure of metal. The material is heated to a temperature above its critical point and then air-cooled. This process relieves internal stresses, improves machinability, and enhances mechanical properties such as strength and toughness. Tempering reduces brittleness by reheating and cooling hardened metal. Quenching is a rapid cooling process used to harden metal, typically after it has been heated to a high temperature during forging or heat treatment. The metal is quickly immersed in a quenching medium, such as water, oil, or brine, to rapidly lower its temperature. This rapid cooling transforms the metal's microstructure, increasing its hardness and strength. However, it can also introduce internal stresses and brittleness. To counteract this, quenching is often followed by tempering, which involves reheating the metal to a lower temperature to reduce brittleness while maintaining the desired hardness and strength. Tempering is a heat treatment process where metal, previously hardened through quenching, is reheated to a lower temperature and then slowly cooled. This process reduces brittleness and internal stresses, improving toughness and ductility. Grinding smooth surfaces and refines shapes using abrasive materials. Runout measurement assesses the deviation of a rotating component's surface from its ideal rotational axis. This ensures precision and alignment, reducing vibrations and improving performance in machinery and rotating parts. Magnetic particle testing involves applying a magnetic field to a ferromagnetic material and then sprinkling fine magnetic particles on its surface. Flaws like cracks or weld defects disrupt the magnetic field, causing the particles to cluster around these areas, revealing defects visually. Ultrasonic testing uses high-frequency sound waves transmitted through a material. Reflected waves are analyzed to detect internal flaws, such as cracks or voids. Material testing involves evaluating the physical and mechanical properties of materials, strength, hardness, and elasticity. This process ensures materials meet required standards and specifications for durability, safety, and performance in their intended applications. Marking involves labeling or inscribing materials with identifiers, dimensions, or instructions, facilitating accurate processing, assembly, and quality control. Lathe machining is a precise manufacturing process used to shape and refine materials, typically metals, into various components. The process begins with shipping the raw material to the manufacturing facility. Once received, the material is carefully inspected and prepared for the next steps. Lathe machining, often referred to as turning, is a fundamental subtractive manufacturing process used to shape materials into cylindrical or conical forms. During lathe machining, the workpiece is securely mounted on a rotating spindle. As the spindle turns, a stationary cutting tool is fed into the material to remove excess material, gradually shaping it into the desired form. This process can create features such as external and internal diameters, threads, and grooves. Lathe machining is highly versatile and can be used on various materials, including metals, plastics, and wood. Precision and control are key, with modern CNC computer numeric control lathes is offering high accuracy and repeatability. The process can be optimized for different tolerances and surface finishes, making it suitable for producing both simple and complex components. The initial lathe machining step is crucial for setting the foundation before any additional machining or finishing processes. After machining, the component undergoes grinding, a process that uses a rotating abrasive wheel to achieve a fine finish 
and tight tolerances. The component then returns to lathe machining for further refinement. This additional lathe operation may involve final adjustments and fine-tuning to achieve the exact dimensions required. The component is then processed through five faces machining. This advanced step involves machining five distinct faces of the component, often using a multi-axis milling machine. This ensures that all sides of the component are precisely machined, adding complexity and improving functionality. South Korea's commitment to advancing its naval capabilities is exemplified by its submarine manufacturing program, particularly through the construction of the Chongbogo batch-class submarines. The on -Mu, a notable example from the series, was developed by the Okpo Shipyard, a division of Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering Company Limited, located in Gioye City. This submarine represents the second of three planned 3,000-ton vessels in the Chongbogo batch class, with the final submarine anticipated to be completed by 2023. The Chongbogo batch class is a significant enhancement over previous South Korean submarines, reflecting the country's dedication to modernizing its naval forces. The project, initiated in 2007, is part of a broader effort to upgrade South Korea's under water combat capabilities. The total cost for the three-unit procurement project is estimated at 3.09 trillion won, equivalent to approximately 2.77 billion United States dollars. This substantial investment underscores the strategic importance placed on advanced submarine technology by the South Korean government. The Chongbogo batch class submarines are designed to incorporate advanced features that improve their operational effectiveness. These features include improved stealth capabilities, advanced sonar systems, and enhanced weaponry. The submarines are equipped with a variety of torpedoes and potentially other munitions, providing them with substantial offensive and defensive capabilities. Additionally, their enhanced sonar systems enable better detection of enemy vessels and submarines, significantly improving their situational awareness and strategic advantage. The An Mu, along with its sister submarines, represents a significant leap forward in South Korea's naval technology. These submarines are designed to address the increasing complexities of modern naval warfare, where stealth, speed, and firepower are crucial. The completion of this project will not only bolster South Korea's defense capabilities, but also contribute to its standing as a prominent player in the global submarine manufacturing sector. The successful construction and delivery of the An Mu and its sister submarines highlight the expertise and technological advancements achieved by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. This program also reflects South Korea's broader strategy to enhance its military capabilities amidst regional security challenges. The Otani Air Hammer OT-50 is a double-acting air hammer designed for general forging applications. Powered by a compressed air piston, it delivers high blow force through a combination of the ram's weight, compressed air pressure, and air cushion. Featuring efficient valve mechanisms, it allows precise control over blow intensity and speed. Its design ensures energy efficiency, safety through air cushioning, and ease of use with a large working space between the rammer guide and anvil. The Otani Air Hammer OT100 is a powerful, double-acting air hammer designed for demanding forging tasks. It operates using a built-in compressed air piston system with power transmitted through V-belts from a motor, which drives the crankshaft to compress air. This compressed air is directed to both the top and bottom of the ram, enabling strong, controlled blows for a wide range of forging applications. The OT100 is equipped with a rational valve system that optimizes air use, ensuring minimal power waste while maintaining maximum performance. The blow force is enhanced by the combined action of the ram's weight, compressed air pressure, and the re-expansion of the air cushion formed during the ram's upstroke, 
preventing damage to the cylinder cover. Operators can easily adjust blow intensity and speed from weak to strong and slow to rapid blows thanks to the special air regulator. The large space between the rammer guide and anvil simplifies handling of larger workpieces. The Otani Single Frame Air Hammer OSF 250 is a robust, high-capacity forging machine designed for heavy-duty operations. Featuring a single frame design, it offers superior rigidity and stability, making it ideal for handling large and complex forging tasks. Powered by a built-in compressed air piston, it delivers strong, precise blows through a combination of the ram's weight, compressed air pressure, and air cushion effects. The OSF 250's advanced valve system enables efficient control over the hammer's blow intensity and speed, from delicate strikes to powerful impacts. An air regulator allows for easy adjustments to suit specific forging needs. Safety is ensured by an air cushion that forms during the upstroke, preventing damage to the ram and cylinder cover. With a spacious working area between the rammer guide and anvil, it accommodates large workpieces, enhancing versatility and operational efficiency. The machining of a 25 metric ton rotor shaft involves heavy duty turning, which demands tools capable of withstanding immense stresses and maintaining efficiency over prolonged periods. One such approach is the use of a cost-effective, screw-clamped positive insert SCMT38, paired with an extremely wear-resistant duratomic-coated TP0500 grade. This combination is ideal for a long time in cut operations where continuous heat generation is a critical factor. The process of heavy turning involves removing substantial amounts of material from the rotor shaft often made from tough alloys, making the material removal rate, MRR, a key performance indicator. The SCMT38 insert, with its positive geometry, is designed for efficient cutting action, reducing the forces on the tool while enabling smooth chip evacuation. This ensures that the rotor shaft can be machined with minimal interruptions and tool changes, significantly enhancing productivity in heavy-duty applications. Duratomics TP0500 coating is crucial in maintaining tool integrity during these extended cuts. Duratomic is engineered to resist wear, oxidation, and thermal degradation, even under the extreme conditions typically found in large component turning. As the insert remains in contact with the workpiece for extended periods, the TP0500 coating helps dissipate the excessive heat generated, preventing premature tool failure. The Waldrich Plano Miller, rated at 110 kilowatts, is a heavy-duty milling machine designed for high-performance machining tasks. In this specific operation, it is used for rough face milling of a high-alloy special steel plate, specifically Impax HH, with a tensile strength of 1180N per square millimeter, SMG6. The operation involves machining a plate with dimensions of 2000 by 1200 millimeters. The cutter used in the process is the R220.608315 model with a diameter of 315 millimeters and 12 cutting teeth, Z equals 12. The inserts for the cutter are SPEN2807ZETR R202.5 which are CVD coated for enhanced durability and performance. These inserts are specifically designed to handle tough materials, such as the high alloy steel being machined. In terms of cutting parameters, the cutting speed, V, is set at 65 meters per minute, 215 surface feet per minute or SFM, and the depth of cut, A, varies between 10 to 20 millimeters, 0.4 to 0.8 inches. The feed per tooth, FZ is set at 0.51 mm tooth, 0.020 in tooth, and the overall feed rate, VF, is 400 mm per minute, 15.748 in per minute. 